Hello, and welcome to another Swift tutorial. As you can see, the sun is shining. And that's because there's another tutorial for you. What are we up to in this tutorial? Well, in this tutorial, let me say it like this. Have you ever created a list with items and you wanted to display some more information about that item? So you had some fruits and when you press that fruit, you wanted to display some information. How do you do that? One option is to use a detail view, and that's what we're up to in this video. So if that sounds cool to you and you want to create a detail view, then keep on watching and we'll be taking a look at it right now. So let's go ahead and create a new Xcode project. I'm going to make it an app and call it detail view. Um, make sure that the interface is Swift UI and then click next and save it in a fancy place. So here we have our Hello World app. I'm just going to remove some of the views. So now what we want to do is we want to create a list with a few items. And then when we press on each of the items, we want a detailed view of that item. So more information about that item. So the first step for us is going to be create to create a list of items. Now, what are those items going to be? Well, that's what we're going to define uh, in a new file. So let's create a new file. I'm going to make this a Swift file. Click Next, and I'm just going to call it Data and create it. I'm just going to drag it down. So what we're going to do here is we are quickly going to cr construct a struct that I'm going to name Item, and it's going to be an identifiable which will make it easier for us to uh, loop through it when we're creating a list. So we're also going to give it an ID, which is going to be an automatically generated ID, UUID, like that. And it's going to contain two uh, variables or two additional variables. The first one is going to be our name, which is going to be a string. And another one is going to be a description which is also going to be a string. So the name is what we want to display in our list and the description is going to be what we're going to display in our detail view when the user clicks a certain item. So now we have the struct. Now we just need some data. So let's create an item constant, which we are going to fill. So I'm going to create three items here just so we have some information. Of course, up here I did a little error. Uh, we're going to set it equal to UUID, like that. That should handle the error. And now I can fill my constant here, my constant array with some elements. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm first going to create one item and let's call it um, item one. And the description, I'm just going to call it the script for item number one. This is nice, period. So I'm just going to take this one, set comma, and then copy paste it one time, comma, and a third time. So now we'll have three elements in our array. And if you want to make it a bit more fancy, you can add some emojis after all of the items, which will add some color to the whole thing. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So here I have three items in my item array, and that will be basically what we need to create our list. So let's head back to our content view. And here we are going to create our list. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and create a list view here. And the content I'm going to pass it is the newly created, um, what do you call it? Items array, like that. And we're going to loop through that array, an item, or simply i, in. And each time we loop through it, we want to create a text view for each of the elements in the array. So let's say i dot name, like that. Although I did call it item, so let's remove the s, and now it should work better. So here is our nice app with all of our items. Uh, I did forget to change the name on all of the items, so let's just quickly do that item one, item two, item three, and again here, one, two, three, like that. 
So here we have our list, but now what we want to do is we want to create a detail view for each one of the items. Because right now when I click it, nothing much is happening and I can see the description. So that's what we're going to take care of right now. So let's go ahead and create a, another file, this time a Swift UI view. And I'm going to call it detail view and create it. I'm just going to drag it down here. So what we want in our detail view is we want two, two things. We want, first of all, the name of the item to, do, to be displayed and then the description of that item. But which item, uh, how do we know which item to display when the detail view is called? Well, that item is going to be stored in a constant that I'm going to call this item which is going to be an instance of our struct, which we called, uh, what did we call it? Simply item, I think, yes. So here in our text field, the first thing, or then when we call or preview that view, we're going to need to pass it some information. So we're simply going to go for our item array and pass it the first element in that array. And then here, as far as the text field is concerned, we're going to say this item dot name, and then we're going to need another text field so we can simply copy and paste it. But first we'll need to embed it in an VStack. So let's right click our text and select embed in VStack. This is our first view in the VStack, copy, paste it. And then here we're going to add the description as well. So let's preview this and see here we have our detail view. Now, of course, we can make this a bit more fancy and we can change around the font a little bit. I'm going to go for, or we can actually just set it to title. And then we can add some padding in order to space out our two uh, text fields. So I'm going to add some padding at the bottom of my view like that. So this is a very basic detail view, you can say, but uh, it at least serves the purpose of displaying some more information. Now also let's add a little title to this view to make it a bit more fancy. Navigation title, I'm going to call this item details. So now we have our list. We have our detail view. And now the only thing left is to link those two together. So let's head back to our original content view and let's embed this list in a navigation view. Um, in order to do that, I'm just going to yeah, select embed in VStack and then write navigation view here instead. And it looks like that one is going to be depreciated. So let's quickly change it out to stack to stay up to date here. So now we have our navigation stack and now the only thing left is to create a link for each of the items that takes us to the detail view. So let's do that as well. Each time we loop through our elements or for each of the elements, we want to create a link. And we do that by saying navigation link and selecting this one. Let's get some more space here. Then the destination that we want to take our user to is going to be our detail view. And in order to know which item to display, we're also going to pass the current item, which is I. And the label is simply going to be a text field displaying our current item, I.name. So here we go. Here we have our list of a bunch of items. Um, oh yeah, of course, we have to remove this one. So now we have our list with all of our items and a link added to all of the items. So let's try this out and select our first item like that, item details, item one and the description. And we can head back and we can select number two. We can head back, select number three and everything works wonderfully. Now what we can do is we can also add a little navigation title to our list here. Let's quickly do that. We can call it fruits because that's what I have displayed. So there we go. So that's how you create a detail view and pass some information between the views. 
Hopefully you enjoyed th this quick little tutorial. If you did, make sure to click the like and the subscribe, and then I will see you back in the next video. Thank you for watching and take care.